All right, so today I'm gonna to do a raw video of how to color the hydrophobic residues. So I'm gonna do two LYZ, which is my kind of my go-to lysozyme run here. Uh, I'm gonna go preset, my favorite preset is publication one, but I'm gonna do publication three because it's a little bit faster. All right, I'm not really interested in um, the ribbon today. Um, so I'm gonna hide that and I'm going to show the atoms right here. Uh, I guess I'm kind of in a ball and stick mood here, all right? But I wanna get rid of the solvent atoms. There's a couple ways of doing this. Um, I can go structure and I can select ions, which will maybe select some of them. I can do structure and select um, solvent, which is a good way to do it. One of the ways I like to do it, because I know there's only protein in here, I'm gonna select protein uh, and then I'm going to invert all models, and then I can go actions, delete. And so I've deleted all the atoms that are not uh, protein atoms here. All right. So uh, now I'm just going to kind of color the whole thing light gray as a base to start with. Okay. <clears throat> Um, and then I am now going to select different types of residues. So I'm going to select all the positively charged ones. And I'm going to color them blue. I'm going to select all the negatively charged ones and color them red. This is kind of the common convention. And then I'm going to select the hydrophobic uh, si um, atoms are really residues and I'm going to color them yellow. All right, and then one of the things I'm gonna do is just because we're really interested in the side chains, I'm going to um, structure, I'm going to select just the backbone and color that light gray. So now uh, the only things that are colored now, I'm gonna, what it, important to do when you're done selecting, go through and do clear selection to get rid of that kind of green halo, which I love to take off points for. Okay, so now, <clears throat> We have kind of the arrangement of all the hydrophobic residues and all the positively charged ones and all the negatively charged ones. When you, what, are you, what are we looking at here? All the negative and positively charged amino acid side chains are on the outside of our molecule, right? Furthermore, all the yellow ones seem to be packed on the interior. Hmm, this is interesting. So here's what I want to do next. I'm going to now switch to sphere, which makes our atoms big. Um, and this is the one where I'm, I'm not quite sure um, the technique. So normally I would, all right, now the best way to do this here would be uh, go to side view, which opens up this picture right here. This is a cool picture. If you're really into kind of lighting um, the surface of the atoms, you can get some really kind of cool effects. I kind of, like a three point with a more a little bit more flat, um, less less bright, you know, a um, little bit less a little bit less contrast. You can really kind of get a little crazy. Um, the key to fill ratio changes kind of the light source. Um, anyway, waste in some time here. Um, add shadows. Never really worked for me. The silhouettes, which is nice for your final structure, but not thing. So, but what we're going to be doing now is work on the side view. Sorry, it takes, it takes a little bit of time to load. All right, and so what I'm gonna do here, I'm interested in looking at what's inside. So I'm just gonna kind of slice uh, through the middle of our protein. Um, and it looks kind of weird uh, because of the way we've sliced it. So the, the, the technique to do it is uh, the surface capping. Um, Cap surfaces of clip planes, cap styled solid. Um, why can't I, why doesn't it apply? Clip. So to go back to cut it in half, surface capping. You can always make these windows bigger if you're really kind of want to fine tune things. I always like to get the back plane so it. So what happens is the lighting is, it's, it's kind of controls how the lighting is. So I kind of like delete the back away by moving this plane up, right? But here I'm interested in cutting the protein in half. 
so I can look on the inside. I mean, it's not great because, but you can, what you're seeing here is that the inside of the protein is predominantly hydrophobic. I'm going to move our line out a little bit. Right. If I put it right here. Right, there's lots of yellow on the inside where all the charge is on the outside, and most of the white is on the outside too. Uh, though you can't completely get rid of this. A lot of the backbone needs to go into the hydrophobic core as well. Uh, so let's look if we can find the surface capping uh, depiction. Surface capping. Uh, this just opens up the same thing. I suppose this opens up a color editor. But it doesn't appear to be doing anything. So, so, so that was an structural structural analysis. No structural editing. Surface capping, surface so One of the things I know you can do, um, add ions, minimize structure, movement mouse mode. Surface capping, is that the same one that is the same one? Depiction. So this is one that I've used before, clipping. Oh yeah, so that, that, that's probably more what we want. See, now you can kind of rotate it and see where we're at. Uh, but we do want the surface capping on, and I don't know why it's not actually capping. Um, See it's slab mode, orient plane, perpendicular to line of sight, uh, with center, flip plane, 180 degrees, align plane, flip plane, adjust clipping, so I can kind of woo, change the clipping distance as I did before. Um, I think the surface capping is, oh, I know why. Because we don't have a surface. So it's going to calculate the surface. Okay, so now I can do the clipping on the surface. And what I'm going to do is um, hide the model model panel here. So if I just don't show the original, I can now kind of take a look in here. But the, fortunately, the surface capping is always one color. So if I, so it doesn't really give us the, what we're cutting into so much. Um, but it does kind of make it interesting. So. But if you don't clip, it uh, like so you kind of see inside almost looks like it's an empty shell. <clears throat> anyway, you might have a better way, you might not. Uh, but that is how um, you can cut open your model. Uh, I am going to go back to the model panel here. I am going to show the original atoms and hide the ones. Uh, I guess I need to open up that clip again, but uh, this is the kind of picture I'm looking for here. Yes, it's going to have these ugly little circles because of how the atoms are sliced, but it is the one that gives us the most information. So if you have a better way to do it, please let me know. Uh, I'd love to hear about it, but this is how I do uh, the cutting the model in half uh, using Chimera. So.